Hello. Woo, doggy, 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 dog. Yeah, buddy. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another banger. That's right, people. We got a new set of truly wireless earbuds to land on my desk today. Now, I'm not really familiar with this company, but uh, they reached out to me via Instagram. This is my first product from Instagram, y'all. Yeah! And they were like, hey, we want to send it your way. You interested in checking them out? And I was like, yeah, send it my way. I'm interested in checking them out. Because after all, I don't have enough truly wireless earbuds. <laughs> but it just so happens that actually I was, you know, browsing through uh, YouTubes and all that stuff. And they have a, they, they put an ad, uh, in, you know, in the mid-rolls of like videos like mine. So, you know, I guess they're trying to make moves and get their name out there. And I have no qualms about that. But the only thing is, you know, is this any good? And I guess we'll just have to find out and see. So it looks like you could pick these up for about 56 bucks on the interwebs. So, you know, budget friendly, truly wireless earbuds, somebody that just wants to pick one up and, uh, you know, toss it in a bag or just do basic stuff. But sometimes these budget truly wireless earbuds they actually blow my mind. So maybe this will do the trick. Let's find out. So here's a little fun fact for you. That uh, Qualcomm Optic X, that technology is the same technology that's in my favorite, one of my top favorite truly wireless earbuds that I've ever tested, the Liberty 2 Pros, which are these bad boys right here. So needless to say, I got high expectations for them. We'll see if they deliver as well as those do, but uh, let's carry on. This side of the box, we got some more branding. On the back here, we got some more information, typical information, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0, dual microphone noise reduction, touch button, IPX6 waterproof certification, 10 hours of music playback time, and like it said in the front, Qualcomm Aptic X audio. Very nice. And on this side, you know, more information about the Qualcomm Aptic X, but uh, let's jump into it, huh? Take those stickers right off. Let's slide it open. Looks like we got ourselves a nice looking box right here. Pamu Slide Mini. Pamu on the side, Pamu on this side, nothing on the back, and how do you get these open? Ooh. All right, I'm already liking this. Yeah, magnets, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get it open. All right, presentation, we got our instructions, looks like it, we got it in Chinese. Uh, we also got it in English. So it says, put the earphones into the seat and fully charge the charging case. Take out the left buds and the right earphones uh, from the charging case and open the Bluetooth and search Pamu Slide Mini. Click it to connect. Pretty simple enough. Here we have our earbuds, black of course. Looks like they're a matte black, not a shiny finish. That's nice. Here we have a good look at the buds. They do not feel cheap. They feel decently designed, which is pleasantly very nice. We got the branding on the outside. Typical pencil style uh, design. There we have our charging points. Uh, we have our ear tips, left and right channels. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but up top there's like a hole and I wonder if that's a chamber for the bass. So let's see if we got that bass bumping, man. Here we have a look at the case. Top branding, Pamu. Typical flip up in case. Plastic, but seems to close via magnets. At least stay closed via magnets. Oh, and then what do we got here? Surprise, surprise. We got ourselves a USB Type-C charging port. That's right, people. USB Type-C charging port. That's a nice touch, especially for budget earphones. That's a real nice touch. So, you know, other, other organizations, other companies out there that are producing budget types, you know, USB Type-C, please. Bottom, we got some FCC regulation, made in China, the wattage, the model year, make and model number and all that stuff is located at the bottom. Here's how they look inside the case. Looks like we got a couple LEDs, uh, one on each of the truly wireless earbud, letting us know what it's doing, charging, pairing, all that good stuff. Satisfying close, turn it upside down. Yep, they're in there closed and they ain't coming out and even with the case open they're still not falling out and that's thanks to our friends our beloved friends magnets 
Let's give our friends Magnets a round of applause for being awesome and being so useful for so many things in our lives. Yeah, nice. What else did we get in the package? <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just thought that was a little funny. Kind of looks like a scary guy, like a scary guy face. <laughs> we got an eye popping out and we got the tongue sticking out and... <laughs> I don't know. I know it's dumb, but I thought it was funny. Looks like we got more goodies underneath. Well, that's a nice touch. We got ourselves a carrying case. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, fake leather, of course. Uh, it's got some branding, Pamu at the front. And at the bottom, we got some instructions for it. It says, carry and protect your earbuds. Well, thank you. So they provide us with the charging cable, USB-A to USB Type-C. Just a typical USB Type-C cable, nothing too fancy. It's about a foot in length. Looks like we got ourselves some two different types of ear tips. Uh, looks like this one's dark gray and the other one's black. So maybe they're different in, uh, maybe they're a different type of uh, plastic, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just a different color. It just depends on, on your style. So that's nice. We got a little card right here telling you small, small plus, medium, medium plus, large and large plus. Oh, okay. So I guess, um, I guess they're all different sizes, I guess. Not only are they, are they different colors, the small and the small plus, the medium and the medium plus, large and the large plus, so on and so forth, but they're different, I guess. Um, also, we got some tips for the ear tips. <laughs> so it says small, medium, large sized ear caps are for default use. The small plus, the medium plus, and the large plus size ear caps are for extra deep when needed. And here's a suggestion for you. Max volume is to be at 70% when you listen to music, or you could have some hearing issues. Well, thank you for letting us know. So, and last but not least, you know, we got ourselves a, we got ourselves a user manual. Yeah, it's like a user manual book that we got here. And, uh, you know, they got to put it with um, all devices. I don't know if it's a law or anything, but um, yeah, every device comes with one. And with every device, I don't read it. So you definitely know where this is gonna go. So now that we got it all out in the open, next thing to do is to pair this baby up to my OnePlus 7 Pro, listen to a few songs, do a few tests, and come right back at you with my initial thoughts. So let's do that real quick. I'll be right back with you. All right, so I ran it through my rigorous test that I typically do with these truly wireless earbuds. Overall, you know, um, they're decent, you know, especially for the price. Overall, you're getting some decent sound. Um, the bass, you know, it, it's, it's trying. <laughs> it's trying and it, it's there, you know, it's definitely there. Um, the mids and the highs are fine as well. Um, it doesn't get as loud as I would like them to get. Um, the the sound um, it's not muffled, but it's not a full sound either. Um, so it's really it, it doesn't it doesn't get distorted or anything like that. But it's it's just not uh, it's just not the high quality sound that I've heard from you know other brands, bigger brands, um, more expensive of course. But uh, a lot of times with these truly wireless earbuds, if you're going for a budget price, you're going to be getting budget sound. You know, it's a lot of these are really not going to blow blow you out of the water. However, with that being said, the left and right earbuds, they, they felt good. They felt good in the air, uh, nice and snug. You can use them independently. You can use the left channel, you can use the right channel, or you can use them together to have a stereo sound. There was no audio lag in regards to watching videos on YouTube, so that's a plus. The touch panels were okay. Um, not as accurate as I would like, but then again, you know, you're paying 55 bucks for these, so you know, you kind of, like I said, you get what you pay for. Call quality, you know, was actually pretty stellar. So, you know, I, I'll give them some props for that, especially right now, you have some video conferencing, you're working from home, uh, you're doing, you know, video chats, all that stuff. You're socially distancing yourself from one another. So call quality, very good. And video lag, I couldn't notice any lag. Design-wise, they look okay. Um, not a huge fan of the, of the design, the, the pencil type design. Uh, but what's nice is, you know, it's a matte black finish, so it's not a glossy finish, so you're not going to get a bunch of fingerprints on it. It's not going to look dirty, you know, right away, uh, especially if you're using this for like, you know, working out at gyms and all that stuff and or running or whatever you're doing. Um, you know, it, it should stay pretty, pretty nice and clean. Definitely a huge positive is the USB Type-C. I didn't notice any fast charge, quick charge 
capability. So, you know, definitely keep these uh, juiced up if you pick them up. But overall, you know, it's a solid package. Um, I'd really like to know what you guys think. If you guys are gonna pick these up or maybe if you have a question about them, I would really like to continue this conversation, you know, down in the comments below. And like always, I definitely get back to you as soon as I can. So if you're ready to buy or would like more information on the Palmu Slide Mini, leave a comment down below or click the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you're looking for all things intensive gadgets. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I guess a thumbs down if you didn't care for it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Handsome Gadgets. Thank you and have a good one.